This is 10 News. A developing story which will affect almost every San Diegan Republicans in Congress reveal their plan to replace the Affordable Care Act. It means changes in how we get our insurance and how much we pay for it. Our tennis reporter Rachel Bianco joins us live from Hillcrest. And Rachel, you talked to parents concerned they won't be able to pay for their children's health care now. Yeah, you're right, Steve. And one of the complaints about President Obama, Obama's plan was that you have your health insurance card, but the deductible is so high, it's like having no insurance at all. Well, critics say this new plan will help the wealthy and only hurt the people who need the coverage the most. Ellen Montanari's 14-year-old daughter, Maria, has a disability. She relies on Medi-Cal to help pay for her care. Doctors, specialists, she has scoliosis, she has a hearing loss, so all the specialists that see her. She's one of nearly 4 million people in the state on Medi-Cal, but they may be in jeopardy. The new health care proposal would phase out the Medicaid expansion that came with President Obama's Affordable Care Act. The amount of money that the feds send to the states stays the same or gets less, so the states have to cover more and more. So the states have a choice of either paying out of their pockets, which is the rest of the taxpayers paying for that, or starting to cut services. Craig Gessen owns an insurance agency in Carlsbad. He says it's too early to tell how the new plan will affect low-income families or seniors, but he's optimistic. I like some parts of it. I'm real concerned about the mandates. Under the GOP plan, the individual mandate or penalty for not having insurance would be gone. Instead, starting in 2019, enrollees cannot have gone 63 days without coverage. If they do, they'll pay a 30% increase on premiums. Gussin thinks that's a mistake. If you think about it, Rachel, if your premium is $300 a month mm -hmm. and you're paying a $90 penalty, you're going to get done whatever's wrong with you, and then you're going to drop the insurance because what's the downside? Gussin says California is at an advantage because there are more insurance companies competing, but that doesn't make this mom feel any better. The Congressional Budget Office, they haven't had a chance to look at. We have no idea how much it's going to cost, who it's going to cover, who it's not going to cover. Now, Gessler thinks it could be up to two years before anything actually takes effect. That is if this plan even passes. Two popular uh, parts of the Affordable Care Act will remain. No penalty for pre-existing conditions, and young people can stay on their parents' insurance until they turn 26. Reporting live in Hillcrest, Rachel Bianco, 10 News. All right, Rachel, thank you. And California could also face some major cuts to its Medi-Cal program. Here's some of the major points. The Republican proposal would end federal funding for Medi-Cal, but that's where a third of all Californians get their health care coverage. Another big change, Medicaid. Instead of paying all the expenses for state Medicaid, the proposal would get a fixed amount of money called a block grant. Even if expenses go up, there won't be money to pay for. That means the state could have to drop people from coverage or cut benefits.